This is the course two lesson on prime factorization. This is the beginning of chapter five, lesson one, which begins on page 197. You should be referencing your textbook, looking at page 197, lesson one, for any notes, vocabulary, examples that you can copy out of there that can help you. I'm not gonna be writing a lot of notes on the board. I'm gonna be showing you some examples and trying to explain the major concepts to you through this video. First, we need to make sure that we understand factors prime numbers and composite numbers in order to be able to do prime factorization. So first let's go ahead and talk about these. Let's talk about factors, okay? Factors are the numbers that you multiply together to make another number in a multiplication problem. So for example, four times seven equals 28. Four and seven are factors. They are factors. 28 is the product. The answer to any multiplication problem is product and four and seven are factors. Another way to view factors is to think of division. Any number you could divide a number by without getting a remainder is a factor. So for example, five is a factor of 10 because 10 divided by five is two with no remainders. Okay, so those are factors. Prime numbers, what are prime numbers? Well, prime numbers are numbers greater than one that have only two factors, one and themselves. Okay, so here are some examples of prime numbers. Two, two has only two factors, one and itself. That means the only way I can make two by multiplying whole numbers together is one times two or two times one. Another example, three, one and three are its only factors. Seven, the only way I can make seven is one times seven or seven times one. And 13, one and 13 are its only factors. Why is one not a prime number? One is not a prime number because in order to be a prime number, you have to have two factors and one only has one factor. The only way to make one multiplying is one times one. We're talking whole numbers here, okay? By the way, two is the only even prime number because all other even numbers are composite because they all have two as a factor. They can all be divided by two, okay? Now, composite numbers. What are composite numbers? Composite numbers are all the other numbers. All the other numbers greater than one that have more than two factors, okay? So here are some examples. Four is a composite number. Four's factors are one, two, and four. I could do one times four, or I could do two times two. Six, six has four factors. One, two, three, and six. And 12, 12 has six factors. One, two, three, four, six, and 12. Okay, uh, and those are all composite numbers because there's more than just one way that I can multiply whole numbers to make these numbers. So quick review, composite numbers means more than two factors, okay? Prime numbers greater than one, but only two factors, one and themselves. And remember that factors are numbers that you can multiply together to make another number or numbers that you can divide evenly into another number. That means divide without getting a remainder. Next, we're gonna talk about prime factorization of numbers. Now we're gonna talk about the prime factorization of numbers. The prime factorization of numbers is to break a composite number down into its smallest pieces. What are its smallest pieces? the prime numbers that get multiplied together to make that number. That's why it's called prime factorization, okay? It sounds difficult, but it's not difficult if you just go step by step and take it, all right? So I have a few examples here on the board. Once again, you should be following along in the book. Okay, this is the same lesson, chapter five, lesson one, and looking at those notes on how to do it. I have some examples that we're gonna use, to, that I'm gonna use on this video to help you understand how to do this, okay? First, let's go ahead and do the prime factorization of 24, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna think of two numbers that multiply together to make 24, and we can't use one, so we can't say one times 24. When we do prime factorization, we cannot use one, and I'll show that to you in a minute, okay? So, what are two numbers that multiply together to make 24 that are not one times 24? Let's go with four times six. Okay, so now here we have four times six, and we gotta ask ourselves the questions, are either of these two numbers prime numbers? And the answer is no. So we have to keep breaking those numbers down now, okay? So now we have four. 
Any two numbers that multiply together to make four, that's not one times four? Two times two. So two times two makes four, right? And both of those numbers are prime. Two is a prime number. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle them. Okay? We're going to circle those two numbers to make sure that we know that we're going to stop there. Now, here's where I'm going to explain to you why we don't use one. Some of you might be thinking, but well, wait a second. From two, I can get two times one. Yes, you can. So let's go ahead and do that real quick so you can see. All right, so I broke two down into two times one. Well, look what I have here. I have a one and I have a two. Well, there's another two there. What am I going to do with that two? I'm going to break it down again into two times one. And what am I going to do with this two? I'm going to break it down again into two times one. And it will go on forever and ever. You'll never get to an end. So that's why we stay away from ones. We don't use ones when we do prime factorization. So we got to our twos. Our twos are prime numbers. We stop there. That's good. Now let's talk about six. What two numbers multiply together, not one times six, that make six? Two times three. Okay. So we have two and we have three. Is two a prime number? Yes. Is three a prime number? Yes. Okay. So we circle those. Now we're done. We don't have any other numbers uncircled. We have finished. We can't break this down any further. Now we just need to write the prime factorization of 24. And so we can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? But we're going to write it in a shortened form using exponents. In other words, how many times is 2 being multiplied here? 1, 2, 3. So instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2, we're going to write 2 to the third. Times, let me write that a little bit darker. 2 to the third times what? 3. And that is the prime factorization of 24. Okay? So now let's go ahead and do the next number. Let's do 96. Okay? 96, you might be thinking, well, but I don't know what numbers multiply together to make 96. Sure you do. You can start off with just thinking, well, 96 is an even number. If 96 is an even number, that means it came from 2 times something. So let's put a 2 on one side, and then let's figure out the something. Well, what's 96 divided by 2? Well, 2 goes into 9 four times, and nine times, uh, 2 times 4 is 8, so that's a remainder of 1, and that makes this 16. 2 goes into 16 eight times. Okay? So 96 comes from 2 times 48. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. So we're done there. We're done with 2, right? We've got to keep breaking down 48. What's two numbers that can multiply together to make 48? 6 times 8, correct? All right. So we can take 48 and break it down into 6 times 8, all right? Are either of those prime numbers? No, they're not. So we have to keep going. What does 6 break into? 2 times 3. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. Is 3 a prime number? Yes. How about 8? What does 8 break into? 2 times 4. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. How about 4? Is 4 a prime number? No. But it comes from which two prime numbers? 2 times 2. Two times two, okay? So now, once again, we've reached the end. We are all at, at all prime numbers, and we cannot go any further. So now we have to write our prime factorization. Once again, I can write two times two times two times two times three, right? But we're going to shorten it using exponents. So how many twos are here? Four. So we're going to write two to the fourth times three. And that is our prime factorization for 96. Now let's do one more. Let's do 350. Seems like a very big number once again. Might be very confusing because it's a big number. But once again, let's use our common sense, okay? 350 ends in zero. It means two things. It means one, it's an even number. And two, it means 350 came from something times 10. So let's think about that something times 10. What times 10? 
35 times 10, right? So let's start off that way. 10 times 35, okay? Are either of these prime numbers? No. So we have to keep breaking them down. 10 comes from what? 2 times 5. 2 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. Yes? Okay. Now, how about 35? What does 35 come from? 5 times 7. 5 is a prime number. Is 7 a prime number? Yes, it is. So once again, we've come to the end of our prime factorization, and we need to write our statement. What's our statement going to be? How many 2's are there? Just 1, right? So 2 times how many 5's? 2 of them. So 2 times 5 squared times 7. And that is our prime factorization for 350. Next we're going to talk about prime factorization of algebraic expressions. Okay, now we're going to talk about prime factorization of algebraic expressions. The only difference between this and what we did before with prime factorization of composite numbers is that now we have some variables that are mixed in with the numbers. Please remember, for example, in 6AB, six, in six please remember that 6AB means 6 times whatever number A is times whatever number B is. Do we know what that is? No. Okay? 16x squared means 6 times x, I mean 16, sorry, 16x squared means 16 times x times x again, because that's what x squared means, it means x times x. Good? Alright, you have to make sure that you understand that. Now, the way we're going to deal with this and the way this works is, you're going to do the same thing for the number part that we did before. You're going to make the tree and you're going to do the prime factorization. Then we're going to deal with the uh, variables afterwards. So let's go ahead and do 6AB first, okay? All right, so let's do 6. What does 6 come from? 6 comes from 2 times 3, correct? 6 comes from 2 times 3. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. Is 3 a prime number? Yes. So 6 is taken care of, right? So now 6 comes from 2 times 3. But we have an A and a B here. And remember this A, B means 6 times whatever number A is times whatever number B is. We don't know what A is. We don't know what B is. So we can't break them down. So we just got to keep them the way they are. So this becomes 2 times 3 times, what's the next piece? A times, what's the last piece? B. And that is the prime factorization of the algebraic expression 6AB. 6 times A times B or 2 times 3 times A times B. Alright? Let's try another one with 16x squared. 16x squared, okay? First let's go ahead and do 16. 16 comes from what? Well you might want to say 2 times 8, okay? 2 is a prime number that's taken care of. 8 comes from 2 times 4. Here's another prime number that's taken care of. 4 comes from 2 times 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? Times what? Times x squared. Remember, x squared means x times x. Now, unlike you did before with the prime factorization of composite numbers, where they asked you or I asked you to simplify the statement using exponents, for these, don't use exponents. All right, so you're just going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times what? x times x again because x squared means x times x. And that's your prime factorization right there of the algebraic expression 16x squared. Okay? Now let's go ahead and do this last one here, 75RS squared. Let's review, let's make sure that we understand. 
75 RS squared means 75 times whatever R is times S times S again because it's S squared. Okay? So let's go ahead and break down 75. Well, 75 is too big a number. What does it come from? Well, if you have three quarters, you have 75, right? So three times 25. And three is a prime number, so we circle that. 25 comes from what? Five times five. And five is a prime number, so we can circle those. So once again, we're not gonna use exponents here. We're gonna write three times five times five times what's next R okay times what's next S times S again because it's S squared and S squared means S times S and that is the prime factorization of the algebraic expression 75 R S squared Good luck.